Ever since the first slow-motion instant replay, video technology has been changing the way we experience live sports. And in 2024, a demo of mixed reality coverage has fans talking. I'm joined by Andy Etches, one of the founders of XR.Live, the company creating this new experience. You posted a clip pretty recently. Uh, it seemed to take off on LinkedIn. Tell me a little bit about what are we seeing here and um, what kind of led you to posting it? So that clip is a clip of um, a basketball game um, being played on a tabletop in, in our office um, in mixed reality. What we do and what's special about this is that we're creating real sports moments from real leagues, real events, and turning them into something that you can experience in a completely different way. Tell me a little bit about the technology that's used to uh, bring this to life. Every major sports league in the world will probably have some form of underlying data underneath um, the action that's taking place. Let's say it is the English Premier League. We will utilize that data, add in our own data sources, either through computer vision and a mix of AI, and turn that into um, a data stream that can then be repurposed either in in a, the example that you saw in like a Quest headset, MetaQuest headset. Um, it'll work with mobile phones, iPads, basically any any end user device that you can imagine. Where it's already used, by the way, like our platform is in use by Sky TV here in the UK um, already. They use it for um, match analysis on Monday Night Football. And how is Sky Sports using it? Are they using it like in the VAR rep replays or are they just using it for tactical analysis and things like that? They'll use it for tactical analysis. Sky here have got 40 cameras at every game, but still they don't have a camera that's behind a player's head or in the player's eyes or something that the presenter can manipulate to get the view that they're trying to describe and say, this is why that player is special because of what they did and so on. It just helps build a really a really clear narrative behind it when you can position the camera literally anywhere on the field. There's an example online of it, of a goal from Declan Rice scoring a goal against Chelsea and it allows you to dive in and they show from that perspective from behind Declan's head and then from his actual perspective to show just how tight the shot was. Really cool. Obviously there is a broadcast application for this but you feel like this is something that can move into more residential applications as well right? Obviously the advent of products like the Apple Vision Pro is really starting to bring this kind of mixed reality um, in-home experience um, to people. With this kind of technology, you can just lean over and you can see whether the ball is, you know, following a certain arc or projection. Um, it makes it a much more immersive viewing experience. It just changes the the whole dynamic um, in in a really in a really good way. Beyond just sports, what other applications are there in in the world of entertainment? There's the direct recreation of. Um, you know, other types of events, non-sporting events, fashion, music, yeah, concerts, gigs, you know, being able to play a Rolling Stones gig on your kitchen table would be pretty awesome. <laughs> um, you know, th those kind of uh, experiences are going to be enabled by this type of tech. Um, and there are other, you know, more broad applications that might open the world of entertainment into fitness training. I might end up open the world of entertainment into learning and development and um, and even even education. You know, this is such a broad um, such a broad way to repurpose something that's happening. Um, it is the opportunities are endless. There are bandwidth and technological limitations. A lot of volumetric video is, is massive. It's, it's you know eight gigabytes per minute. <laughs> you know, it's not going on anyone's anyone's mobile phone anytime soon. But that doesn't mean it won't do forever. 